Hello there, greetings in Jesus' name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, Light for Your Daily Path. This is episode 617 and our topic, the Almighty God. And this is part 8. Our Bible reference is taken from Psalms chapter 46 verse 1. Friends, in Psalms 46 verse 1, the writer reminds us that we have a Father who is our refuge and strength. He is our ever-present help. And despite anything happening around us, we must not be intimidated. We must not bow to fear. In Psalms 46 verse 5, we are urged to remember that God is with us and that we will never be shaken by anything or by anyone. As our refuge, God will always protect us from harm. As our strength, he will empower us and enable us to go through any season. And as our ever-present help, he will always be with us, no matter the situation, the location, or the confrontation. Our God is available to us at any time, any day or night. He is continually at our right hand, willing to speak to us and to guide us. And he has made this possible by giving us his spirit to abide in us. The Bible tells us that Christ himself is in us and we are in him. Romans chapter 8 verse 10, Galatians 2 verse 20. We must never allow any condition, opinion, challenges, obstacle to make us feel God does not love us or he has forsaken us. Even while the children of Israel we're going through what looked like the most difficult season. God was still with them. He was still their refuge. For every believer in the Lord Jesus, God is our rock, is our refuge, is our safety, is our protection. We are completely, absolutely, totally secure in Him. This is God's word reminding us again that he is our refuge, we must not be shaken. Here is our task for today. Take some time to meditate on Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Take some time to meditate on God's word in Matthew 11, 28. I'd like you to pay very close attention to the wisdom push for today. Today's declaration and our daily Bible reading, our meditation for the day, and our meditation for the night. God bless you. God keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you, and may he be gracious to you in Jesus' precious name. Have a great day, Father. Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become King and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.